standard 7th subject english 1.4 journey to the west much of the world's literature has been translated into english in this passage we learn about an epic novel with the title journey to the west and its most popular character sun wukong or monkey king this novel is a classic of chinese literature it was written in the 16th century by wu cheng en does the passage remind you of a few things you read in your history textbook last year one how do people find their way through deserts forests mountains oceans etc today how did they do it in the past discuss two read the following statements and say whether each one is historical or fictional indian merchants used to travel across the seas many centuries ago Sindbad the sailor completed seven voyages Neil Armstrong landed on the moon in the 20th century Aladdin could fly on his magic carpet Alexander the Great conquered a number of countries before he came to India Gulliver met very tiny people in Lilliput and giants in the country of Brobding Nag There is a man in the moon who watches what's going on on the earth Emperor Ashoka's empire stretched from the modern day Afghanistan to Bangladesh Journey to the West When we read the words journey to the west we naturally start thinking about a journey to western countries like England and America but west is a relative term for countries to our east we are the west this particular journey that we are going to read about was actually a journey from china to our own country it was made by the famous 7th century traveler ivan chong in those days traveling from china to india was not an easy task one had to travel thousands of miles on foot or horseback crossing deserts crossing snow clad mountains crossing strange unfamiliar regions using roads where bandits and robbers roamed who do it but ivan chong had a dream he wanted to take buddhist scriptures from india to his homeland in china it was like a pilgrimage to him Ivan Chong undertook the long and difficult journey to follow his dream. For 17 long years he kept on traveling, suffering many hardships on the way. He traveled across the Gobi Desert, then along the Tian Shan mountain range, and on and on along the Silk Road through regions that are now Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Afghanistan and Pakistan before he came to India. In India he traveled to many parts and gathered many important manuscripts. The way back home was also equally difficult, but Ivan Chong managed to reach China. safely along with the scriptures this was a great achievement it was almost unbelievable so much so that people thought 
that the gods and superpower nat supernatural powers had helped Yuan Chong in his quest. This gave rise to many interesting folk tales. Centuries later, in an epic novel called Journey to the West was written about this famous pilgrimage. The novel made use of many of the folk tales. The novel and the stories in it are still very popular. The novel tells us that there are many demons and evil powers who are eager to kill and gobble up the holy monk. Who would save him? Who would vanquish the demons? Well, the Guanin deity, who is the goddess of mercy, has seen to that. She has assigned this task to three special people, Sun Wukong or the Monkey King, Zubaji or Pixi, and Sha Ujeng or Sand Priest. Now, these three characters are no saints. In fact, though they all have supernatural powers, they are known troublemakers. So, the gods have thrown them out of heaven. However, the kind deity Gonin has offered each of them one, one more chance. If you help the holy monk in his pilgrimage to India, if you use your powers for this good work, then you may return to heaven. That is why the three characters have agreed to be Yuan Chong's disciples and to help Yuan Chong in his difficult journey. And sure enough, they have many thrilling, exciting and sometimes humorous adventures on the way to the Holy Land India. The most powerful among the three disciples is Sun Wukong. Everything about him is extraordinary. He was born when winds blew over a huge stone egg on the flower fruit mountain. He is able to transform himself in 72 different ways. Not only that, but he can also transform each of his hair strands into any living or non-living thing of his choice. His as-you-wish gold-banded kajal is also magical. It can grow as big as a pillar supporting the sky, but at other times it becomes as tiny as a needle. Then the monkey king just tucks it away behind his ear. Sun Wukong can travel thousands of kilometers in just one somersault. He can walk through fire, travel under water and fly to any place at will. His body is as hard as a diamond, so no one and nothing can injure him. His golden gaze fiery eyes have X-ray vision. No one can deceive him. Sun Wukong is brave and intelligent, but he is also a trickster. He loves to have fun, and some of his superpowers help him to just that. He has a face which can suck in anything or anyone. He can simply point at a lock and open it. He is very, very quick and can grow very big and very tiny at a blink. You can imagine how he must have teased his enemies using these tricks. If you want to read about the adventures that Sun Wukong and his companions had on the way, you will find the stories in the English translation of Journey to the West. 
some of the stories have also been turned into films what would you like better to read the historical account of yuan chong's travels or to read the fantastic stories of sun wukong maybe you should read both to find out what you like better happy reading